Not too long ago, Esther said to us, Abraham, I know that you're all hot on this idea of vibration, and I guess I am too. But I want you to know that I really like manifestation. <laughs> and we explained to her that there are manifestations happening all along the way. Do you know that every moment that you are in this physical body with your eyes open, in other words, in consciousness, you are experiencing a manifestation. This is a manifestation. It's a manifestation. It's a constant stream of manifestation, 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 manifestation. And what you are wanting to do is become more aware in your moments of manifestation. We want you to be more alert and aware of the subtle beauty of these thoughts turning to things. And in the beginning, they just feel like impulses or thoughts or ideas. But as you celebrate the newness of them exploding in you, and you stop being like most humans and demand that they show themselves to you fully right here, right now, this red hot minute. Instead, you enjoy the subtle perception of your reception. Then not only do more manifestations come so much so that people are watching you and saying, what in the world is going on with you? I barely hear you express a desire for something and I turn around and you are living it in some full fashion. And we want you to be able to say to them that you discovered how to let more manifest in your life by not needing to manifest before you are excited about it. In other words, you began to enjoy the pre manifestation version of it so much that, and here it is, we want you to listen for this all week long. You enjoy so much the pre manifestation versions of it that the manifestation becomes almost irrelevant. And when the manifestation is almost irrelevant, then every moment of every day is full of exhilarating unfolding and discovery by you of your creative genius. But in the not needing to see it before you believe it, but in the believing it anyway, and in the joyous experience of believing it, even though you don't see it, you will see so much more. You'll see so much that others will call you greedy. And they will say it is unfair. You're getting way more than your fair share. But that can never happen. Because after all, the creative process goes like this. Your life experience here in this physical body has caused you to sift and sort and decide what you don't want and what you do want. And you've launched those rockets and you've asked. You've done step one, you've asked. And source has answered because when you ask, Source delivers it to you in a manifestation that is vibrational. Now, if you don't say, oh, vibrational, that's not enough. If you say, oh, there's a vibrational version of it that I can sense if I get good at sensing, then you begin to do what we call step three. You're in the receiving mode where you are tuned to the frequency of your expanding creation. And when and only when you are tuned to the frequency of your expanding creation, then you get to witness it as it unfolds. That's such a delicious state of being to get to witness the universe yielding to you in such wonderful ways. That's what we call the art of allowing. It's what we call being in the receptive mode. It's what we call being in the replenishing mode. It's what we call being the vibrational equivalent of your own desires and your own inner being. It's what we call heaven on earth. It's what we call being the frequency of the source who is your creator. It's what we mean by saying you are in a vibrational place where all that you desire is not only being realized by source, but it's being realized by you. And then you stand as a human flesh, blood and bone witness of the universe delivering to you every nuance of everything that you've ever asked for. So your asking didn't just begin with this physical experience. You've been asking for a very long time. You're much older than you know in this physical being. Your physical body is a baby in terms of the wholeness of that which you are. And when you begin to really care about the way you feel and you begin to be willing to tune your thoughts because you're wanting to find the frequency that feels satisfying to you. Then in that personal self discovery of satisfaction, you'll hold yourself in what we are calling that sweet spot 
where you get to watch the universal forces, the universe that creates the forces and energies that creates worlds operating for you. It's a good time.